protest pays off. More Providence students will be given ripped up bus passes to get to school safely and on time. It's the result of a rally they held at City Hall last month. A protest. NBC 10's Bill Rapley is live in Providence with more on that. Bill. Providence students have really been put in the heat on Mayor Jorge Alorza on this issue, claiming that he broke a campaign promise to provide school bus rides to any student that lived more than two miles away from the schools. Well, they've been marching around City Hall trying to draw attention to the issue. Today, they marched again, but this time with the mayor. The students made this a priority and have brought mobilization to an art form. The walks around the second floor in the last week, the rally last week, and the result? A concession from the Alorza administration, summed up by City Council President Luisa Ponte. It's hard to say no to kids who come to you and say, I want to go to school. I want you to help me to get to school. Um, and the mayor heard that message loud and clear. The members of the city council heard that message loud and clear. And today, uh, we are proud to stand here to announce that we are fulfilling a promise that was made long ago. Alorza joined the students today in their march around City Hall and said he always had wanted to expand school bus service to students just two miles away from their schools. And he was able to find the money thanks to anticipated increased tax revenues. Once we realized that there were additional uh, tax revenue to expect in the city side, our first priority was to support our kids and support our students. Now, Lorza says it will be about $680,000 to provide bus passes to all those students who live from two miles to two and a half miles away from school. I'm Bill Rapley, NBC 10 News, live at the Down City Studio.